I feel like I've not done a sit down chatty video for ages and I absolutely love watching this kind of video where it feels like you're on FaceTime with a friend. So get comfy, I think it's gonna be a long one. So this year I've decided to prioritize me. This is the year of me. I give so much to other people and I do so much I think as mums, as partners, as wives, as daughters, as friends, as colleagues we give so much of ourselves to people and sometimes we just need to focus inwards on ourselves so I've decided that this is the year of self-care and I'm going to take small steps to improve different aspects of my life and I wanted to share some of my absolute favourite things that have helped me to do this recently. We're going to go through some of the things that have helped me nail what I think is a pretty perfect evening routine. I'm someone who really struggles with sleep and I've put a few things in place that have been helping massively. And I cannot tell you the difference having a good night's sleep makes to me, both physically and mentally. I'm going to talk through some of my favourite things that I do to relax and unwind. And also a couple of really random things in here as well. But... They're just things that have brought me peace and happiness and they're very simple things but it's a little bit odd. Anyway, you'll see what I mean once we get to that point. So obviously self-care doesn't only include looking after yourself on the outside. We often need to focus on what's on the inside too to help you become more fulfilled and lead a happier, more stress-free life. That's why I want to take a moment to talk to you about how I've been improving my mental health via therapy. And this video is actually a paid partnership with BetterHelp which is the site I've been using to speak to my therapist. Some of you may remember that I lost my dad in really difficult circumstances during the pandemic. And because he died during such a turbulent time and an awful situation, I really struggled to come to terms with my grief. And I think I just bottled everything up and pushed it way down. And I don't like to put on other people. That's probably one of my biggest faults. I don't like feeling like a burden to anyone. So I never talked about my struggles with friends or family because I didn't want to add to anyone else's load with my own problems. So starting therapy has been such an eye opener because I feel really heard and I don't feel as if I'm adding to anyone else's mental load by talking about my own problems. I'm not burdening anyone with anything. And because it feels like such a safe space to talk, I feel like I'm not only addressing my grief and the situation surrounding that, the feelings that I've buried. I'm also delving into things from my past, issues in my past that I've just buried deep down for years. And these are some things that have been holding me back from being truly mentally happy and healthy in my own mind, if that makes sense. So if you think you would benefit from talking to someone who is trained to listen and give helpful, unbiased advice, this can be done via phone, via video call, or even just messages if you prefer. So if you do want to try it out, just click on the link in the description box below this video or visit betterhelp.com and just choose Victoria Folger upon sign up and you will get a special discount for your first month. So you'll be asked to answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has had years of experience dealing with struggles just like yours. I really recommend looking into it. It's really, really helped me. And like I said, it's been eye-opening. Sometimes you have things when you don't even realise you need to talk about them that you really do need to talk about. I couldn't recommend it more. I went into therapy very unsure of what I was going to feel and if it was even going to be for me. And now I can't see me stopping for the foreseeable future because it's my time that I get to talk and unload onto someone that is purely there just to listen to me. So link will be in the description box or you can visit BetterHelp, enter Victoria Folger when you sign up and you will get a discount on your first month. So that's how I'm prioritizing my mental health. Now let's get into some of my favorite things that are helping me prioritize the rest of it, like the whole package. So I think we'll start with the evening routine because that's the one thing I'm pretty good in the mornings you know I think mornings are quite easy to get into a routine because you do the same things and you have to be in places at certain times but evenings you're kind of more left to your own devices that's when I struggle and like I said I've always struggled with sleep so first thing I like to do when I start my evening routine is have a shower it doesn't have to be like an everything shower just a normal shower but one thing I have been loving is shower oil <laughs> I am laughing <laughs> because I am going to tell you something quite funny you know what I'm like so I've got this one this is a sesame oil and it's basically it goes on as an oil and then you like rub it in and it foams up this was really inexpensive. I'd love to try the L'Occitane one, but I do know that it's quite pricey. Everybody recommends it though. But I got this one in TK Maxx. I've used over half of it already, but this was really inexpensive. I think it was about 3 dollars 
Um, Tesori Doronte, the Oriente. I don't know. Any shower oil would do. I just find that if I use a shower oil, I get out of the shower feeling really moisturized to start with. Sometimes like shower gels and things can leave you feeling quite dry. I love a shower oil. I'd love to try the L'Occitane, but yeah, this one, you can pick them up in TK Maxx, but you can also get them in like Superdrug boots, probably supermarkets as well. Um, if I can find any to link down below, then I will. Do be careful because it is an oil. Our shower is over our bath and I have a shelf at the end of the bath. Oh, got hair. I have a shelf at the end of the bath where I keep like a basket with my razors and products and things in. So I put my shower oil on. Obviously, some of it's going to splat into the bath. And then I walk out of the shower bit to the end of the bath to grab my razor. Unfortunately, <laughs> my foot hit a patch of shower oil. And you know, like most baths are, are slanted. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thank god there was no one like no one could see me so I slipped kind of span round and my butt hit the, the slope of the bath and I slid on this shower oil literally like a slide down the bath and ended up on my back <laughs> with my legs in the air and barely mud obviously I'm completely naked I'm covered in Home. I'm holding on to this razor um, and yeah I, I heard my son was in the front room and he just shouted out are you okay mum I just had to lay there for about two minutes because I was shaking uncontrollably with laughter I did actually really bruise my bum so I think you should be really careful if you do use shower oil maybe put a bath mat in if you if your shower is over your bath or even if it's not just it was just the fact i couldn't have just slipped over i had to slide down and almost like <laughs> like a u-bend back up the other side <sighs> it could only happen to me so don't worry the other thing i absolutely love when i'm having a shower and a new and another new favorite product um is this Cantu, it's a she butter define and shine custard now my hair is actually naturally curly um this has been straightened to within an inch of its life oh and by the way i had it cut yesterday and that's why it's so short when i say so short it's like it's a lot shorter than it was normally it's it's like down to sort of here but um the lady the lady in the hairdressers said that it really needed it because it was like different lengths and breaking and stuff because I've been having issues with it feeling a bit like fragile. Um, so, so she cut it. I feel like this is short for me, but it will grow. But basically what I like to do when I'm feeling really lazy and I don't want to straighten it is just scrunch it out of the shower and like let it dry sometimes i'll use like the air wrap but generally i just scrunch it let it dry and i wanted it to dry like frizz free and wavy so i bought this and basically so you get your hair soaking wet and try and straighten like your fingers through it as much as possible and then you get this custard and it really is like custard it's like thick and gloopy smells amazing though and you literally layer it on from like root to tip and you get each piece of individual hair like this and like pull the stuff through um and then what i like to do is like kind of run my hand down and let it all kind of drip off otherwise my hair will take five years to dry if you do that and then go about your styling as normal this left my hair like it's not like um it's not like a styling product it says that it says style and it says for natural curls coils and waves delivers brilliant shine and perfect hold but there's no stickiness it's not like you've put mousse or hairspray in and it elongates curls and adds long lasting hold it's formulated with shea butter coconut oil avocado oil almond oil mango butter grapeseed oil so basically it takes your dry curls or i've even used it and then blow dried my hair and straightened it and it's come out just such good condition so thick and shiny and when it was longer it really made a difference but i keep looking like mm, i don't know but yeah so i really recommend that i got this in super drug and they've got a whole range of products for like curly hair wavy hair but even if you haven't got curly hair if you have a little bit of volume in it like mine's quite flat today i keep fussing like you do after hairdressers um i'm not sure if i like the product whatever she put on it but anyway I really recommend this. I love it. it. I think I paid about four pound with the super drug like card. You get like a more of a discount. So that is definitely a favourite. 
and that's my start of my like nighttime routine so the, the next two things kind of go together and one of them is like a one of them's a product and one of them is not <laughs> okay so the next thing that i do once i'm out of the shower and i've got my hair in like a wrap or something is this you've probably seen these you may have seen these this is an acupressure mat and basically the idea is to lay on it it actually comes with a pillow as well i don't use the pillow it's like a torture device um i like to lay flat and but you can put that under the back of your neck or on your head if you want to but basically it's full of these tiny little spikes that like are acupressure points and you lay on it and it is they are very spiky and it is very uncomfortable to start with but it brings the blood to the surface of your back when you're laying on it and the feeling when you if you've ever tried it i just do about 20 minutes if you've ever tried it it's like i can't even explain it's almost like taking a sleeping tablet but you stand up and you get this real rush of heat to your back it takes away my back pain if i've got a headache it really helps with headaches it's absolutely amazing it just it feels like you've just had a massage basically as if someone has literally just worked on your back for 20 minutes they sell these on amazon they're really inexpensive i think they're between like 15 and 20 pounds and what i like to do whilst laying on this is i get my phone and i pop on youtube so i do a guided visit a guided visualization it's quite hard to say visualization um it's basically it's I'm not particularly good at meditating, like just sitting and trying to empty my mind because as soon as I stop and try and be quiet and quiet my mind, everything enters it and I just start going through this internal chatter. So if I have something playing that I have to listen to, it really helps. The one I use is about 20 minutes long, so I lay on the mat. You can lay on it with, start off with clothes, jumpers, t-shirts, and then gradually de-layer. Um, I've now got to a point where I can just lay on it as it is. Make sure you lock the bedroom door because that's the sight no teenage boy wants to see. If you just put into YouTube, meet your radiant self, guided vis vis <laughs> visualization, then it will come up. It's like the first video that comes up. It's about 20 minutes. It makes me feel so calm and so like zen. And I know that sounds really crazy, but laying on this after a really nice shower and and just listening to that for 20 minutes it helps me wind down it helps signal to my brain like that it's time to go to sleep and or that it's time to wind down and get ready for bed absolutely love it even if you don't want the mat try the um try the meditation or the visual <laughs> visualization why can't i say visual visual visualization try that um i will leave it linked down below i'll leave everything i talk about in this video i'll pop links below for but I'll leave a link to the YouTube video that I watch. I love it. There's tons and tons on YouTube. If that's not your kind of thing, there's loads of other ones. I just really have found it helps. So yeah, I love that. So that's like the next stage in my little evening routine. So the next thing I like to do when I get into bed, I like to moisturize my entire body. I'll either use a tinted moisturizer, like a um, gradual tanner, or just like a Garnier like body milk. I've got like a 24 hour one. So slather myself in that all over um, and then i have like a little skincare routine so i've got some of my favorite bits here which i wanted to show you so first of all after i've like had my shower i've cleansed i've done my mat and everything i'll start with my like evening skincare first thing i go in with is a toner now i've got this one from ollie Henriksen, and this is a, a glow h2o dark spot toner and it's got high potency ahas i spray this on and pat it in um, it is quite harsh, so I do only use it once a day because it can it can be a bit stingy. Um, but it is really, really good. I love having the spray on it as well. It's much easier to use. So that is quite a pricey one. Again, I'll try and link it down below. But I did want to say that Audi products are actually also really good. The other toner I've got is this Healthy Glow. I think this is like a dupe for the Pixie Glow one. And this is by Lecura, which is like Audi's beauty brand. So this is the Healthy Glow Retinol Toner. 
and as you can see I use that as well I just vary between the two and a few times a week I will then go in with an overnight mask can't tell you how nice it feels to wake up in the morning and feel like you've really took care of yourself overnight so rather than waking up like we all do sometimes when your makeup still crusty around your face it feels so good that I've been putting the effort into like I was gonna say feed in my face that's not what I mean but I do put effort into that as well but I really feel like I've been putting effort into like looking after myself while I sleep and then I wake up feeling like oh I did something good last night so one of the things I absolutely love is this skin restore paste by Liz Earl this is an overnight mask and basically you put it on your cleansed and toned skin it says it visibly improves skin while you sleep Again, Liz Earl isn't the cheapest, but another Audi product is this Lacura H2 Overnight Face Sleeping Mask. This is really nice, actually. Very custardy looking, again. But it just locks in moisture. It's a much more affordable, much more affordable product. So you don't always need to go with the high-end like, high products. I do find that a lot of like the more high street prices are just as good. Um, because sometimes I will buy expensive skincare and things or I will usually say like have it for Mother's Day or birthday or like as gifts or if I, if I really want to treat myself but I like to have products that I feel like I don't feel guilty using either so I can just like wallow in them. <laughs> wallow in them? Is that the right thing? Wallow. The only thing with the Audi stuff, I think that some of them, they just copy packaging of other brands. But the other thing is they don't always have them in. So if you love this, you'll go back in a month's time and they won't have it and then you don't know when they're gonna get it back. So that's the only issue with Audi stuff. But if you do see some of it, then it is worth a try. So yeah, I'll either go in with a sleep mask, but I'll only do this like two, three times a week. If I don't use a sleep mask at night, generally I will then use this. So this is Black Snail and Peptide 9 Emulsion. This is a Korean brand. It says Farm Stay and it says Brightening and Wrinkle Improve. I know that like snail peptide or snail mucin is really big at the moment and funnily enough my son introduced me to it because he placed an order and when these products turned up I was like what's that you've got there expecting him to have ordered I don't know protein bars he's ordered snail mucin so that's where I found out about it I actually went into TK Maxx again good old TK Maxx and I got this I think this was about eight pound or something it's actually like it's an emulsion so it's not like the mucin it's actually like white um, but it leaves my face really really moisturized it is brightening so I use my vitamin C in the morning I use this at night I don't know if I'm doing it the right way around or anything but it makes my skin feel good I have really really dry skin and this really does help to moisturize if anyone's ever wondering what that massive like weird lump is on my forehead I seem to have like a lump there don't know if you remember if you follow me on Instagram or maybe in vlogs ages ago I don't know why I'm waffling but I, I can see it really visibly sometimes um, can you see that lump it's just never gone away. Don't know if anyone can comment down below now. Pause it and comment what I did. <laughs> it's, an, it's another shower story. I put the recycling out, um, span round, hit my head on the corner of a concrete uh, windowsill and I fractured my skull all by myself, literally. Yeah, I literally just managed to completely fracture my skull, ended up with two massive black eyes. I had to go to hospital. Um, I had a concussion for days, and yeah, and that was, it's got to have been five, six years ago, I'd say, um, five or six years ago, but sometimes it's so much more visible than others, and I don't, there's nothing I can do about it, so yeah, if you ever look at me and think, why she got such a weird, <laughs> weird shaped head, it's because I'm an idiot, really, because I'm clumsy, and I just try to put rubbish out, and tripped over and fractured my skull so yeah I can really see it in some lights and it is it it makes me quite self-conscious because I mean it was bad at the time but it's bad six years later I've still got a lump so and that's my skincare for an evening like in the mornings for my morning skincare I just in case you're interested you might not be you've probably gone to sleep by now um, but in the mornings I'll do my cleanser um, and then I will use again I've got the Ole Henriksen this is the banana bright vitamin c serum which i absolutely love i think vitamin c c vitamin c serum is one of my favorite like skincare things because the difference when i use it my under eyes look brighter like my my massive alien head looks brighter but it really does make my skin look brighter the yellow hemmings one slightly more expensive but 
Aldi, again, you see how well loved this is. This is Lacura again. This is completely empty, um, but I wanted to save it to show you. This is one thing that I I would 100% buy 10 if they, if they bring them back in store, because I would say this is as good as this. There's not like, it's not, oh well, it will do, like the toner, oh it's not quite as good, or like sometimes, like the overnight mask, the Lizelle one is slightly better. These, I would say, there's no difference at all. I reckon they're made in the same factory. I know they're probably not, but this is amazing, and it's like six pound, I think this is like 16 for this size or something. It might be more than that. I don't know but it's a lot more than that one and I would 100% buy this over this any day so start off with my serum I've also got the um, Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream this has got Rose of Winter Extract and three sources of vitamin C again this is another Ole Henriksen one I do really like their products they're a little bit more pricey than High Street they do last a really long time but they're not like top top end products either so I love that so that's like that's why I do in the mornings and then I obviously will go with the moisturiser and SPF always wear your SPF very very important I literally go to bed like a marinated chicken I, I soak in everything overnight and then I would probably be a really good flavor the next day one of the very last things I do at night and this is a really good tip as well because this stops you scrolling on your phone and it is hand cream I have various it does not really matter which one although one of my favorites is the Marks and Spencer one in the um, orange tube I love that, but I haven't, and that's only five pound. That's a really good one. Um, but I've got a Vaseline, healthy hands, stronger nail. My stomach's just rumbled really loudly. <laughs> um, I've got this coconut lime one from New Look, which my son bought me um, as a little treat, which was really sweet of him. So I've got Ted Baker one. I do love the Marks and Spencer one, but I literally I pack it on. I just think your hands get so neglected, and there's nothing nicer than feeling like you're just all lovely and coated and moisturised, and they smell good. And it stops me scrolling on my phone because I'm all kind of like not greasy, but you don't your phone it's so they don't they don't go together, do they? So I'm much better just like with my Kindle and I can just tap 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 rather than the phone. It helps. I like having nice soft hands. So the other thing that I wanted to mention for bed is this, which is <laughs> not a nighty. It is a satin pillowcase. The difference this has made to my hair when I wake up in the mornings, I don't know if it stopped it like breaking or anything, but this stops the frizz. It's so good for your hair, but it also, they are so nice to sleep on. You can always find a cool patch. You don't get like, your hair doesn't get stuck to it. It kind of slides. I mean, I'm like, I flip like a fish. I'm a front sleeper anyway, so I have my arm under the pillow um, and I usually sleep like that but I do flip constantly, side, 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 front, side, 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 you know what flipping is, but yeah. Um, satin pillowcases, you can get these really, really cheap, they're not expensive at all, brilliant, really recommend it. You can get these, like Amazon, you can get them, well you can get them anywhere, you can get bed in, I think they I paid about £10 for two. These are DKMY, but again, like home scents, um, I think they were like £10 for two, so I just got them because they were the colour I wanted, but they're so soft. So the other thing, I've also got a jade roller that I like kind of roll my face with. I really like this, especially it's, it's really nice and cold and you can like under your eyes and things. So I've got one of those, keep that in my bedside drawer. And then just before I go to sleep, I like to spritz my pillow with a pillow spray. So I've got several, I have these all in my drawers. You can get these really cheaply as well. Um, this one I think was, a, I think it was the Poundland did it. It's called Land of Nod, it's an essential oil. I had a spray of this, but this one is actually a roller ball. So you can roll it on your pillow or you can like pop it on your wrists. Basically they're all kind of chamomile and lavender. So that's that one. I've also got this one from Hayland and Whittle, and that's lavender and chamomile. This one, which is Drowsy Sleep SOS. This is from the Mood Maker, and this is just like a little pipette. It smells so good, and you can just put a few drops onto your pillow, onto your mattress, or onto like your night clothes. Um, I absolutely love it, and it just, it, again, it just signals to your brain that it's time to like wind down and go to sleep. I don't tend to have a problem falling asleep. My problem is staying asleep. I'm, I'm a 3 a.m. wake up, worry about everything in the world kind of person. Always have been, um, but I, I am finding it a little bit better. Now I'm trying to put these routines, I'm finding that I feel much calmer when I go to bed and I'm not waking up as often, which is definitely a godsend. So I mentioned using my Kindle, 
I am currently reading um, Akatar, which is the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I am on the very last book that is currently out, I think it's book five. I think she's releasing book six hopefully this year. That's by Sarah J Mass. You've probably heard of it. If you haven't, it's kind of like a, the first book is almost a fantasy retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Um, what I will say, because I haven't done book reviews for ages, but what I will say is I'm not typically a massive fantasy reader, like with, and this is high fae and fairies, and that not those kind of fairies though, it's different, but, and there's like werewolves and shape-shifting and all that kind of thing. I'm not generally that kind of reader, but if you are not interested in too much in-depth fantasy, then this is a great series to start with, or even just start book one and see how you go. I've even actually got my husband <laughs> listening to the audio book because I've read the books and then I got a free trial, so I wanted to listen to the audiobook with him. So whenever we've been going out on journeys and things together, he's actually listened to the audiobook, so he's gonna continue reading the series as well. Um, but yeah, A Court of Thorns and Roses is the first book and they they go on from there and it is it's really good it really sucked me in it's kept my attention i've read five books of it in a row um i can't wait for the sixth to come out and i'm just kind of obsessed i'm in that whole night court otherly world kind of life i wish i lived there sometimes to be honest it's like one of those things you obsess over it in your brain and yeah it, it really helps you to escape it takes you away from reality sometimes real situation books can hit too close to home and I love the fact that this is so not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to suddenly end up living in some high court somewhere in a different universe but you never know so that's a book I've been loving. The other book is more of a mind helpful book and I'm trying to read at least 10 pages of this a day and that is by Dr. Joe Dispenza and it is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. It's all about the power of manifestation and how you're holding yourself back and how you really need to change your mindset and change the way you look at things. You need to express more gratitude and believe that the things that you want to happen are going to happen, almost act as if they have happened, and how that all can bring you onto the right frequency to receive these things. I'm not that kind of person. I, you know, I'm very, I'm so skeptical about things like this, but the book is really interesting. But I'm reading it on Libby at the moment. So it's Dr. Joe Dispenza. I'll leave it linked down below how to break the habit of being yourself or something like that. Yeah, breaking the habit of being yourself. I wanted to talk about the cinema. Now this is one of my favorite, favorite self-care habits, I suppose. We tend to go, um, Steve and I tend to go to the cinema usually around once a week if there's something on we wanna see. If not, we'll skip it, but we do like to go generally on a Friday. Um, and we just absolutely love movies and it's, it's just one of my favourite things, walking into the cinema, the smell of the popcorn and the big screen and everyone has to be quiet. And I think I like it because you can't do anything else. You can't be on your phone, you can't be answering emails, you can't be cooking for anyone or dealing with anything. You don't need to be walking the dog and you literally have paid your money so you have to sit there. And I don't do that at home, I don't tend to sit enough. Um, if you put a film on at home, I'll often be like, oh, I'll just go and do this, I'll just go and do this, I'll just answer this, I'll just do this. In the cinema, I just think it feels so indulgent because you literally just sit. So three of my most favourite films lately. So I'm going to start off with what I am probably going to list as one of my favourite films of all time. And you will either agree or wholly disagree. And that is Poor Things, starring Emma Stone. Um, this movie blew my mind. So it's directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who is a Greek film director. He directed The Killing of a Sacred Deer, The Lobster, uh, Dog Tooth. He's got a very different directing style. Emma Stone was fantastic. She actually won an Oscar for Best Actress. It's a very, very strange film. It's about a character named Bella Baxter, who is kind of orchestrated in a Frankenstein style way by this professor and She's basically a child in an adult's body and discovering everything through completely fresh eyes. Cinematography was fantastic. It was so cleverly done. Mark Ruffalo was absolutely brilliant in it as well. He was so, so funny. And the two of them had such good chemistry. It is the strangest film I've ever seen, definitely. It's not gonna be for everyone. 
Um, if you've seen it, let me know if you loved it or if you hated it. There is a lot of sex in it, like a lot. So if you don't want to go and see it with your dad or your children, it's not that kind of film. But it, it needs to be in there to be conducive to the storytelling. But the colours and the way some of it's black and white and some's colour, it's crazy. It will feel like you are in some kind of fever dream. But I came out of it and I could not stop thinking about it. I could not stop talking about it. It is now actually out on Disney Plus, I believe. I really, really recommend it. If you like looking at cinematography, if you like looking behind the scenes at directing and how arty films are made, it's that kind of film. But even if you're not, if you just want something that I, I guarantee you will just be enthralled for the entire movie. There's no boring parts of it, in my opinion. It's probably my favourite film of all time. If you watch it, you're probably going to think I'm a weirdo. The next film that I really, really wanted to talk about was Iron Claw. My God, that is a sad, sad film. It follows the true story of a family of wrestlers in America. And it's the Von Erich family and having three teenage sons myself i cried the whole way through there is not one not sad moment zach efron in it fantastic absolutely amazing i've never seen him look so different but act so well in a role before i'm not particularly into wrestling but the story behind it was heartbreaking and like i said if you've got boys especially it is hard it's a hard watch but it is a fantastic retelling of what is a true story and i absolutely loved it but it made me cry so i loved it but cried all the way through but again fantastic directing i, I could talk to you all day about films it's one of my biggest passions especially seeing us go to the cinema so much i've really started to look into like directors that i like and their styles and things and i'm really thinking of looking more into that side of things as well um, I find it really fascinating. And the other movie I wanted to talk about, because there are hundreds I could waffle on about, um, there's loads of like really good ones, but the ones that stand out are these three. And the last one is June Part 2. That, again, I'm not a fancy kind of person, and I will often get a bit itchy sitting through like a two and a half, two hours, 45 minute film, um, which is essentially not even based on this planet absolutely fantastic the actors in that were amazing the soundtrack was amazing the cinematography the sets they built the, the way that they flew to different countries to get seconds of footage and then we have to talk about the star of the show austin butler who played fade rotha oh my god i mean i'm the biggest austin butler fan anyway i think him and elvis he should have won all the oscars for that because that was a fantastic film but him in this just hits different if you've seen it if you know you know um he's bald he's pale pasty he has no eyebrows he's sadistic he's a torturer he's a killer um he's absolutely fantastic he was he deserves an oscar for this one he didn't get it for elvis but he definitely should get it for this and um, timothy chalamet zendaya just brilliant they were so so good rebecca ferguson i absolutely love her as well the cast together was amazing we've seen it twice in the cinema and i would go and watch it again and it's nearly three hours long and a lot of it is based in sand dunes but directed by denis villeneuve the canadian filmmaker he's fantastic as well his films are just amazing and i just highly recommend it it was amazing Talking of Austin Butler, because we can, the Apple TV series Masters of the Air, which is an American mini-series depicting the life of the bombers in World War II and basically just that time period. It is really well done. I think the actors in that, again, this has got um, Barry Kogan in it as well, which he was also in Saltburn, which is another brilliant film, by the way. <laughs> if you've not seen Saltburn, brilliant. Very strange again, but so, so good. Um, he's in Master of the Air, I think it's eight or nine parts and it's on Apple TV. Even if you don't like World War II dramas, this one I could watch again and again and again. It was just really fantastic. The acting was amazing and it was just really nice to see it portrayed in a way that wasn't going to be boring. I can see this being shown in schools, in history lessons to relate a bit more to today's children but still be talking about the correct time period, if you know what I mean. I just think it was brilliant and yeah, I highly recommend that. So this video is probably already 48 hours long. So I really wanna quickly go through two other things and I'm gonna show you them, I'll pop in clips of them, 
And when I'm talking about self-care, all these things make me happy or they make me feel relaxed. And sometimes it's the smallest things. So kitchen chairs, we've got dining room chairs, um, obviously, <laughs> and they're a like burgundy color, which I've never even been that keen on. And because they're like, I think they're faux leather, all the, they were starting to crack all along the tops and down the sides, the dog chewed the corners of them. Um, basically, I was ready to throw them in the bin but they're really comfortable, decent, solid, good quality chairs. They're expensively built, but I hated the fact that every time I walked into the kitchen, it just made my heart sink. You know, when you just think, oh, it looks so scruffy, I hate it, but I don't want to spend, I don't want to throw these chairs away and spend money on new ones. So I went on Amazon and I bought these chair covers, 45 pound for six. Honestly, they have changed the whole kitchen. The, 45 pound for six you literally pull them over your chair i'll leave them linked down below if you have got chairs like dining chairs that you think need a new lease of life obviously make sure you look at the measurements and things but for 45 pound i can pop them off put them in the wash pop them back on they fit our chairs because ours are really low like to the ground they fit them absolutely perfectly and I just walk in a smile and that has helped my mental health that has made me feel good about something that I've been obsessing over constantly worrying how it looks when people come around worrying how it looks in videos you'll notice I very rarely try and get my dining table in videos because it stresses me out and spending 45 pound on chair covers has completely transformed my kitchen and therefore my happiness so sometimes the littlest things really do make a big difference the other thing, this is crazy, but I get really stressed. I have dogs. I never want my house to smell of dogs. So I wash their blankets daily. Like they are always, always in the wash. But it gets me down because the dog hairs then got all over the inside of the drum. And then the next load you did, you would end up with hair all over it. No matter how much I cleaned it out after washing them, it was always the case. Until I went on Amazon and bought a bag literally a zip up bag and i will link this down below as well if you've got dogs or the other thing it's brilliant for i put the boys um trainers through the wash like shoes trainers and i put the boys trainers through the wash all the time and i used to tie them in pillowcases and then the pillowcase would come undone and they'd come out and they'd roll around and you just throw them in this bag zip it up and they stay in it and the laces don't get caught in the door or the drum and they don't get tangled it doesn't get chewed up and it's another thing that now if i think oh time to wash the dog's blankets i don't get that whole pit of like oh yeah but it's gonna ruin the machine it's gonna leave hair everywhere i don't want them in with our clothes it's it's fantastic it was like i think it was about 12 pounds it is just crazy how the tiniest things i feel like the camera is getting but those cameras getting lower and lower it is crazy how the tiniest of things can make such a big difference to your mental health so that's why i am continuing with my therapy and i really recommend that you give it a try if you've ever been thinking about it or if you even are struggling a little bit then it's worth looking into like i said i will leave everything i can linked in the description box i will also leave the link to better help and like i said if you sign up and use victoria folger upon sign up you will get a special discount for your first month let's let this be the year that we work on ourselves and you can't pour from an empty cup so you're no good to anyone if you run yourself into the ground she says I should take my own advice but these are just a few things inexpensive simple ideas but they've just made me feel good and and it's a start so I hope you enjoyed this video it's not a typical like throwback to 2010 kind of favorites video I just wanted a little bit more of a chatty FaceTime kind of chat with a friend video about some things that I've just found have enhanced my life if you have enjoyed it please leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll be back really soon with another video take care guys it's what you do making me feel like